Hi, welcome to Community Connections brought to you by the Greater Canal Valley Foundation. My name is Jane Powell and today we've got a great show and I have a great guest. My guest will be Lakeisha Barron Brown. She is En-ROADS College Links Program Manager. Welcome to the show, Lakeisha. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so I, I have to tell you, I know a little bit about En-ROADS, mm -hmm. but I am anxious to learn more. Okay. So let's start out with the big question. What is En-ROADS? So En-ROADS is a, a national nonprofit organization, which is a career and college readiness program for high school students, ranging from ninth grade to twelfth grade. And so, um, yeah, it's just it's a it's a career and college readiness program for um, aspiring um, college students. Okay, so if I am a high school, a ninth grader, tenth grader, how do I get involved in En-ROADS? So yes, yeah, so again, being that it is a, um, a program for ninth to 12th grade, um, one of the things that I do as a program manager is I do a lot of recruitment. So either I'll go to the local high schools, I'll have different fairs in the community, or even just word of mouth. Uh, we have a lot of alumni that are here in the Charleston area and beyond, so they too are some of our recruitment mechanisms um, to, um, explore, to expand inroads here in the area. So one can either contact me um, via email or go to our website mm -hmm. and or um, send me um, or call me on telephone in order to um, find out more additional information about inroads here in the area. So you said something um, about alumni here, but inroads is a national program, is that right? Yes, so inroads is a national program. Um, currently we have about 15 different markets. When I speak of markets, meaning different locations in different states throughout the United States. So, wow. Yes, yes. Okay, yeah. so that is a huge network. Yes, it is. So yes. once a student is involved in the local inroads, they have access to this web of alumni all across the country, right? Yes, they do. So um, let me go back a little bit. So inroads, as we are relaunching back here in West Virginia over mm -hmm. the last year and a half, and we do have a partnership with our step-by-step -step organization here as well, but inroads was here years ago. Um, Probably in the 80s, inroads started here in West Virginia, and then the early 20, 2020, 20, uh, early 2000s, should I say, um, for whatever reason, it went away. Mm -hmm. And so during that time frame of 1980 to 2000, several individuals have went through the inroads program, myself as well. I am an inroads alumni, very proud. Mm -hmm. And so being that um, the number is very large, we have alumni situated in different states throughout the United States that also help with our recruitment um, aspect here in West Virginia. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So getting it kicked off here with your partner, step by step. Yes. In West Virginia and recruiting. Um, and the target audience, 9th through 12th grades, yes. right? So you talk about recruiting. What does it take to become an inroad student? So in order to become an inroad student, one again has to be between 9th grade and 12th grade. Mm -hmm. um, GPA is a 2.5 GPA, cumulative GPA as well as um, two letters of recommendation. And so as I talk about our ninth graders, I know that when we look at rising ninth graders, one may say, well, I don't have a high school transcript. Mm -hmm. So we do take their, middle, their last middle school GPA to make them eligible to, as a ninth grade um, scholar. So basically, that's how one will be eligible for the program. Now, obviously, once I receive the applications, I do do a vetting system, mm -hmm. um, but I believe every student, as long as they meet the basic qualifications, um, is afforded the opportunity to gather what's necessary within the En-ROADS program. Wow. Yeah. So then I, okay, so I've applied and I'm accepted. Then, then what, I guess, then what happens? Yeah. So um, as we talk about our recruitment, so let's now talk about our program aspect. So En-ROADS is a year-round program. But we have monthly workshops. Our workshops are held three, um, the third Saturday of every month at West Virginia State University. Mm -hmm. During those workshops, we have different partners come in throughout the community, being um, anywhere from physicians, anywhere from entrepreneurs, anywhere from business leaders, um, to give them an aspect. Because again, as we speak of inroads, it is a when we talk about career and college readiness. Many times, many of our scholars come in and they sort of have an idea of what they want to do post high school in regards to their um, academia whenever they go to college, but then there are some that don't know. And so what we try to do in En-ROADS is expose them to different opportunities, different internship yeah. opportunities, different work shadowing opportunities, um, STEM-related activities. And so being able to build a relationship with our community partners and our city partners and our state partners 
um, allows our program to grow even further, but ultimately allows our students to have a better understanding of what the real world is beyond high school. I really love that yes. because there are career opportunities that you would have never thought of. Right. And right. you're exposing them, so that's really yeah. wonderful. Yes. So I guess that is something that you're always looking for then, mentors and volunteers to come and interact with the students. Yes, yes. Yeah, um, in all fields, right? Yes, in all, in all fields, you know. And we also recognize that some students may not want to go to college, so that we may have this parent out there or the student out there and say, well, all this sounds interesting, but my child doesn't want to go to college. Is this program still applicable for them, or he or she? And the answer is yes. Again, because we do bring in entrepreneurs um, to come in to say, hey, this is where I started at, and this is where I am now. And so, again, it gives that student the aspiration to know that whether they went to college or not, there's still an opportunity to be successful and gain necessary skill set within inroads. Right. So the workshops, so you have a, a guest speaker come in. What else happens at the workshops? So at the workshops, so again, as we speak of our national, our national organization, we mm -hmm. do have a national curriculum. Oh, okay. Um, so monthly, we, we focus on different um, topics from what is career and college readiness. What does it mean to be financially wealthy? Um, and one may say, well, what does that have to do with anything? Well, ultimately, there's scholarship opportunities that we talk about um, to our scholars. So we want them to know that whether you go to school in state or out of state, what does that mean when you begin to accept financial aid? So what we talk about is if you have the opportunity to receive a scholarship, do that because that will lessen your debt. So we, mm -hmm. we also show them that as well. Um, we even talk about mental health because we know that in schools, schools are stressful. We know that home can be stressful, so we want to be able to provide a holistic aspect of what does it mean to be successful academically and personally. Um, we also expose them to cultural activities as well. Um, we do a lot of things, again, at West Virginia State University. So monthly we have different um, building up points to where we get to our last um, session, which is in June, which is our National Career Academy. Um, mm -hmm. We are very proud to say this year was our first in-person National Career Academy. And we were able to take about 30 scholars to D.C., not, I'm sorry, not to D.C., but to Atlanta, um, where, as we talk about our different markets throughout the United States, they actually gather with every market in, at Kennesaw State. And we had probably about 400 scholars throughout the whole United States that came together in Atlanta. Um, it was great for our scholars because some scholars had never been outside of West Virginia. Some scholars had never been on a college campus. Some mm -hmm. scholars had never had the opportunity to interact with other schools or other places outside of what their comfort zone was here in West Virginia. And so to be able to provide a free opportunity for our scholars, meaning it was not a financial bearing on our families, our organization actually paid for nice. them to go to um, Atlanta. So as we lead up every month, the last month of June is when they had the opportunity to go to National Career Academy. And We'll have it again, but the date and, and location has not been decided upon for the upcoming year. Well, that's really exciting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I bet you were just like a proud mama with yes. all your kids in it Atlanta. It was great. It was great. Yeah, that's wonderful. Um, so, 30 kids this year. Tell me a story about one of the kids. So, let me go back, Jane. As I say, 30 students, we only took 30 scholars to Atlanta, but currently we have about 60 scholars in the program here oh, in West wow. Virginia. Okay. We are, we're definitely recruiting. I need to have 100 scholars by October. So, hopefully, when parents, um, academia professionals hear this, they will start sending students my Good. way. Good. I hope so. Um, mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so when we talk about success stories, I want to talk about one of our scholars that, um, well, I guess several success stories if I can. Yeah. Um, we have a scholar that is going to a local university here, and as we begin to get into the scholarship season, um, I was able to provide them different scholarships uh, opportunities here in West Virginia, and many throughout the Greater Canal Valley Foundation. And when one of our scholars was able to be a recipient of one of the scholarships of the Greater Canal Valley Foundation, they excitedly texted me and said, hey, thank you so much. Their parents were very excited because they realized that that was one less stressor they had to worry about in regards to trying to figure out how we're going to pay our our, stu our child's um, bill. So being able to um, give them the necessary tools in the community to say, hey, there's money here. You know, if you can go to school for free and don't have to have this additional financial burden on your family, let's make sure we provide those opportunities for you. So that student was, that student was very uh, appreciative of their opportunity. So that's one. Yeah. Um, another success story is that as I speak about West Virginia State and step-by-step -step partnership, Last year, West Virginia State, a representative came to me and said, how can we be a partner with Step by Step and En-ROADS? And so with that, we were able to 
um, partner with West Virginia State to where they now allow us to, A, to have our meeting space monthly, and then also they allow for any senior that we have in our program to automatically be um, admitted into their university upon, you know, doing other things, right? That's huge. That's huge. And so we were able to identify two scholars that will be attending um, West Virginia State this upcoming fall. And so that's another success story. Mm -hmm. And then when I speak of my younger scholars, we have a ninth grade scholar that at our last session in May, they came to me and they did an interview and they said, you know, prior to inroads, in my first year inroads, I was very shy. I didn't know anybody. Um, I walked in here because that's what my parents told me I needed to do. And they said, here I am standing here in May, and I'm a spokesperson for inroads. And so to see this student come, see this scholar come out of their shell, to then come up and say, I want to be the face of West Virginia for inroads, I think that is success within itself because yeah. we had a shy student who did not want to do inroads, but their parent felt like it's not about what you want to do. It's about what I see inroads being. It's about what I see inroads is able to provide for you. And that scholar believed in their parents' voice and their parents' direction and they took the step to come to the workshops, and now here they are going into 10th grade, and now they're helping recruit other scholars in West Virginia to be a part of Inroads as well. So I think holistically, those are three success stories that I think other scholars should be able to say, I too want to be a part of that program. Well, I think that's a success for Inroads, and I think yes. it's a success for the students. Yes, yes, for sure. Everybody wins yeah. with that. Yeah. And just cheers to West Virginia State yes. University for making that opportunity available to I them. Agree. I agree. That's right. Yes. Um, so ways that people can learn about Inroads, they can check a Facebook page. Is that right? Yes. So we do have our Inroads West Virginia College Links West Virginia Market Facebook page. And what I do often is that I put information out there, um, recruiting information. And then when we have our monthly workshops, I always make sure to captivate. Um, our active sessions that's going on, and we post those as well. We give recognition to all of our um, outside agencies that come in to provide additional resources to our scholars so they can go there um, mm -hmm. to learn a little bit more about inroads, and or they can go to our national website, which is www.inroads.org as well. Okay, and so another way, so there's the local Facebook, the West Virginia Facebook page. Yes. There's the national um, website, inroads.org. Yes. yes. And they could also reach out to you through your email, yes. which we have on screen, which is lbbrown at inroads.org. Yes. Or uh, use, if they want to call you, 304-741-3325. Yes. Lots of ways to get in touch. And, and they also can contact Step by Step as well. Step by Step um, organization as well, where we're all partners, they too have information about Inroads as well. Oh, great. And yes. I'm sure that they would refer and, and just help any way they can. Definitely. Yeah, Definitely. you have some great partners you're working with. Thank you. Looking for more. Definitely yeah. looking for more. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm glad that we could be a part of the scholarships. Thank That's you. nice. I'm glad to hear students are taking advantage yes. of what we have as a statewide scholarship yes. program. So that's great. And then um, I guess volunteers or mentors that wanted to work with the program could use all these same methods to get in touch with you. They can, yes. Um, that they could be involved in changing the life of a student. Yes. Our programs begin in October, um, so any time between now and October or beyond, they can contact me to find out if they, um, if they were willing and able to um, be a part of our monthly workshops. We would greatly appreciate that. Yeah. And or job opportunities or sh shadowing opportunities for our scholars. Yeah, that's so great. Thank you so much. Um, it's been fun learning about a national program that's yes. taking off here in West Virginia. Yes. And 60 students just graduated, 30 having a chance to travel yes. out of state. So I just love that. Yes, thank you for the opportunity. Yeah, thank you for being here. Thank you guys for joining us. This has been Community Connections brought to you by the Greater Canal Valley Foundation. We'll see you next time.